gentlemen, and welcome to the 2021 Paul Coral Concert. I'm so happy to see you. Never did I think I would say it feels good to be performing in a gymnasium. <laughs> but I'll take any performance I can get. It's been since February of 2020, since we were last here in this space. Uh, and it's so good to be back. So I hope you enjoy our program tonight. Our first performance is from our largest choir that we have here at Muhammad Seymour. It is the Concert Choir. We are 73 members, and they will be performing Benedictus by Brian Lewis, accompanied by Madeline, Madeline excuse me, Lawson. And the next song will be River in Judea with soloist Marissa Smith and Jameson Jones. Here we go. Congratulations. That was your first time accompanying, correct? Bravo. <laughs> Next up is River in Judea.
mask switching because it's very beneficial for them to be able to see my face as I conduct. <laughs> but I don't want to talk with the plastic shield on because I know that I'm going to forget and run into the microphone and it's going to be real awkward. So it's doing a lot of shifting. Anyway, um, you may have noticed on the back of your program, there's a calendar. We have a performance calendar this year that we did not have last year. So many things. We are back. And so many, so many performances coming up here in the month of November. Uh, we have the ISU Magical Festival that our magicals will be traveling to on Friday. Next week is a booster meeting, which you're all invited to attend in the chorus room. We have a junior high band and chorus concert next week for our 7th and 8th grade ensembles. Oh my goodness. And then we have district festival going on this weekend and next for some of our students. And for the very first time, we are doing a cabaret, because why not just bring all the things back and add a new one? <laughs> so let's do this. Uh, we've got a brand new all Together Now Fall Cabaret fundraiser that is on behalf of our MS Music Booster organization. You may have noticed posters and promotional materials on your way in. Tickets are on sale. The performance is Sunday, November 14th at 2 p.m. It features some amazing musical theater pieces, some of my favorites. So you won't want to miss this here in our auditorium at the high school. All right, my biggest choir is graduate. are looking so sharp. Oh my gosh. I guess I just haven't looked at them, like seated and they look like they've done this a lot, but like our freshmen haven't done a concert since they were in seventh grade. That's crazy, right? All right, well, thank you, thank you, guys. Missy's standing here. Missy is the only student that is in two of my choirs in school. She's crazy. Here she is. <laughs> All right, trouble choir, let's come on down. <laughs> Our travel choir is one of our smaller choirs here at the high school, but they are one of my favorites because they are non-stop fun and joy. It is just... I'm going to wait until they're, they're done walking there. And magicals are early too. I was going to tell you a little bit about our travel choir. So this group of, of singers behind me bring me so much joy. They actually have trouble choir over their lunch hours, so they get even longer with me this year, trouble choir. I know you're so happy about that, aren't you? Uh, we've had a great time. Um, you may have heard we've had some picnic lunches and some events. We decorated the choir room for Halloween. It was quite fun, and they just add so much to our program. They have beautiful music prepared for you this evening. We're going to open with John Rutter's For the Beauty of the Earth, followed by In Time of Silver Rain, which is a poem set to music um, by Audrey Snyder with text by Langston Hughes. And we will close, uh, it would, I blanked on the title for a moment, it's only a paper moon, a classic. All right, here we go.
a couple of, of tunes for you, but I'm going to let the uh, Jesser and Wench take over here as MCs. So that's what we do in Madrigals. I'm going to move that stand, and here we go. In merry old England, back in the days before the internet, before the computer, before the automobile, before electricity, <laughs> they didn't have much back in merry old England, did they? Jester, it was a different time and place. They relied upon themselves and each other for amusement and entertainment. Groups of singers used to travel the countryside and sing a type of song known as a madrigal. Oh yes, I've heard of the magicals, though sometimes about silly subjects such as animals or food, they're most often concerned with a subject that has not changed since the dawn of time. Love. <sighs> For once you are correct about the magical, and this next song is no exception. In fact, songs about love from afar, and unrequited love, and sporting the loss of love. <laughs>
time, we are going to transition to a tribute to the armed services. This is our tribute to our veterans. Typically, every year we host an assembly with all of our students. This year we're not quite doing that, we're not quite ready for those full assemblies yet, but our district is putting together a virtual ceremony that this song will again be a part of. If you are a veteran, when your service song is sung, please stand and be acknowledged. This is a tribute to the armed services.
now it's time to bring all of our singers to the risers for the mass number. And man, are we crowded on these risers. It's a good problem to have. I'm going to take a little moment as we get set, because it's going to be noisy. So we'll be back with you in just a few. All right. Uh, before I forget, I want to acknowledge a number of parent volunteers who hemmed pants and dresses and came in and helped to set up our students in their formal attire this evening. Uh, a, a big thank you. I'm not going to list all of your names, but a round of applause for those parents. Who have been so number is a really important song to me. I just, I, I will say that when my daughter Anna was born, that's you. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> um, my, my husband Dan put together a playlist for Anna and this song was on it. And so it was kind of, you know, she was, she's seven now. So it's been in my life for a while. I didn't really know the song too well until it was on Anna's playlist. So I thank Dan for, for introducing me to it. Um, Bill Withers passed away in March of 2020. So this song kind of came back into my life again in that time of isolation when, when things were really crazy and it made me think about what's really important and I'm so grateful for my family. Our students shared with me some of the things that they were grateful for, be it the smell of the outdoors, uh, having picnics with friends, or in the case of Abby Loban, growing some patch of grass in your bedroom, <laughs> right? That's what she enjoyed. So I hope you all had a lovely evening. This is Bill Withers' lovely day. May I introduce our, our band? They, they told me they want to go by the name of the Wombo Combo. Um, <laughs>
you so much, the Wombo Combo. That concludes our performance for the evening. Thank you so very much for attending. We'll see you next time. Have a wonderful night.